Now, let's go back to like, you know, when you was talking about working on the help desk, right? And for those people that's watching, you know, because we have people that's non-technical people, when when you work on the help desk, so imagine like Best Buy, right? Like you have the Geek mm -hmm. Squad or something. You know, people walk yeah. up to you, they got a problem with their computer, and you're the person that solves it. So just like Donald had mentioned earlier, right, you're like the first person, you're on the front lines, you know, supporting enterprise customers internally to like, you know, the organization and stuff like that. Now, a lot of people, you know, look at help desk with a negative connotation, right? Even though it's like one of the best experiences you will ever have as far as being well-rounded in technology, right? But, you know, you told me another thing that you told me off camera, right, that I thought was very powerful for the audience. You know, you kind of told me like, hey, when you went to the help desk role, even though that was your first role in technology, you went in there with intention, right? Intention on how to move up and move away. So could you please talk to the audience about that, about how you were intentional in taking that first help desk job? Absolutely, man. Part I'll say it like this. Uh, there's like a proverb, an ancient proverb, basically. A guy became a janitor because he wanted to learn about the company and, and he got rejected for every position. So he became a janitor and people were like, man, you got an MBA. Why, why, why are you, you know, why are you a janitor? Right? Well, dude, he had keys to every office in the building. Right? Mm. So he would politic with the CEO, you know, get to learn the ins and outs of what he do collect the trash you're gonna look at his trash you don't really get an idea of how the job you know really flows and later on he became a ceo of a rival company right but mm. it was it was it was he took that position that you know a lot of people turned their nose down to and he flipped that right. into you know the ceo position because it was all to him it was about access to becoming what he wanted to be and for me when i was getting into technology i was really intentional about you know where i wanted my career to go and i understood that to to become what i wanted to be i needed to be around it right so in help right. desk you touch everything i tell people being in help desk is like being a greeter at walmart you see everybody everybody got to pass, <laughs> pass by you you see everything mm -hmm. right and it's up to you to take that opportunity when you see it and and, and really you know take advantage of it if it aligns with your goals. I, like I said, I set a plan. I set my goals so that I can move into networking because that's what I was learning. That's what, that's what I was labbing up. And I understood that <clears throat> being a help desk, I had the opportunity to be on the front line and troubleshooting networking issues. Because for people who are not in IT, basically what happens when you have an issue, you call them to the help desk, let them know what's going on. So if you can't connect to the internet, you're gonna call your company's one eight hundred help desk number. And you're gonna say, "Hey, you know, I can't, I can't access the internet." And me, I let it, I let it be known from day one to my entire team. If it was a networking issue, I come get me. I don't care if I'm working on something else because that's what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to be around. Like that was my intent, and they understood that. So they they gave me those opportunities, man, you know, to, to really to hop on those tickets to talk to network engineers, you know, to see the the process from start to completion, right? To resolution. And having that intent, making sure that everyone understood my intent, man, that 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 really helped me transition from help desk into my current role. So like when you when you were working on the help desk, right? Did you like how helpful were like the, the 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 upper echelon people like you know you work at the help desk or you know you're at the front help desk anybody can walk up to you and if you have an issue that you need to escalate that's when you go to the people that's in the back room that nobody sees <laughs> so like how how helpful were those people like when you were letting them know like hey i want to level up and then giving you guidance and stuff like that uh well it, it i would say everyone will everyone appreciates someone that does their due diligence so i i made it be known you know once i once it hit my desk i exhausted everything that i could possibly do and you know and you got to have humility too man you know you got to be able to tell people what you don't know and what you want to learn and just being open transparent having that humility doing my due diligence uh every time it went to an engineer you know i, I always got great feedback 
you know uh, you know i was one of those people that uh you know i would stay on the call you know i, I would let them know that uh you know i'm gonna hang out here you know i won't you know barge in but if i can help you know let me know and i would keep reminding them because those those calls you know they would go on for like two hours so you know every 15 minutes i'm, I'm hey i'm here hey guys you know what's you know I, i'm whatever i can do if i need to send some ping commands if i you know whatever just let me know and um you know eventually it got to the point to where instead of me reaching out to them like something new would come across and they'll reach out to me, you know, because I was like the sidekick, you know, I was every superhero <laughs> need a sidekick. And I was like everybody's sidekick, you know, like, hey, man, grab Donald, you know, tell him to do this, this and that. Hey, right, boom. But one thing I will say, again, being intentional and having a plan when you're doing something that's new and you don't understand it, have that humility to ask questions, you know. So if they give me something new. I'd be like, hey man, what's this? <laughs> Straight up, I don't understand it. Like, you know, just give me an right. overview and like, you know, where to start, and I'll take it from there. You know, and, and just having that attitude and that mindset was was important. Hey, that's great, man. That's great. So now, right? So going back to that intention, you know, you you went to the help desk role with intention to level up and leave, right? So talk to the audience about like the process of like how long you worked on the help desk before you made that decision and then the steps you took to land in your current role. All right, yeah, I worked on the help desk for uh, in total uh, about six months. You know, it, it was, uh, you know, what I basically what I did, again, I, I made myself visible to everyone, you know, so that, so that everyone understood where I was on my journey and like, you know, if I if I got to the point to where I was working 10 networking tickets, I would let somebody know, like, hey man, I'm killing it this week. <laughs> you know, you know, that the CEO who who had trouble getting into their PC, you know, because of uh the DHCP, like that was me. Yeah, I did that, you know. And just not in a braggadocious way, but a way to let people know, hey man, I'm progressing. Cause you gotta let people know that you're progressing. You know, you gotta put yes. your name on stuff. You know, that's important. If I can say anything like, man, be proud of what you do. Right? When you accomplish a, a, just a task or whatever it is on the help desk, you know, make sure upper management know if, if you had that opportunity. And uh, my director, you know, he was he was a really good guy. He was always accessible. You know, he would always uh, give me feedback whenever I asked for it. And, uh, you know, he saw it. And uh, one day, man, he just said, man, you need a recommendation. <laughs> and this is the, the director of the company, you know, mm -hmm. he gave me that recommendation, man. And yeah, I mean, it really changed my life. You know, it, it was something so, that I wasn't looking for, but like it found me. So from that recommendation, that's how you landed your current role from the, the director of the company, seeing how, you know, how much hustle you had and everything. Yeah. So. I give you the I give you the story outside of work, right? So while all this is going on, you know, while I'm learning stuff on the job, outside of work, man, I'm labbing every day. You know, I'm I, I'm getting the AWS free tier. You know, I'm building mm -hmm. up EC2 instances. You know, I'm building up OpenVPN servers on the EC2 instance so that I can build out, you know, VPN. I can understand how IPsec work and things of that nature. You know, I'm installing Linux on my on my virtual machines, on my desktop at home, you know, I, I'm taking every, I'm taking every free avenue possible, you know, uh, while I'm at home. And so once I got the uh, letter of recommendation from him, man, it it let me know that this could really happen. You know, it was a right. point in my life where you start getting, you start reaching burnout, and when when you start reaching burnout, you start really questioning yourself, like, should I keep going? which is natural you know and i was at that point i was like yo i'm i'm getting success but can i really take it to that level that i envision and you know and i got that letter from him and that was like you know someone believes in you and really that's all it takes sometimes just just at least one person who believes in you and, and can and recognize what you're doing <laughs> 